Welcome to DNN Tutorials, brought to you by Dynamite, the specialist DNN division of BBI Brand Boost. In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to add role based content to a website built in DNN. That is content that you do not want to show to the general public, but do want to show to specific users of your website. It could be company reports that should be visible only to the board of directors, or it could be research documents, maybe even posters, images or vouchers that you wish to show only to registered subscribers. Let's start. We've created a training portal and the first thing we need to do is to log in to reach the DNN admin controls. We're not going to recap the logging in process or any of the other steps taken in building the portal. If you need to understand those steps more fully, do please watch our earlier training videos. After logging in, go to the Manage section of the Persona bar, the vertical menu bar, that is represented by two crossed wrenches, and hover over the icon. A flyout menu will appear. In that menu, find the word Roles and click on it. You will see a list of existing roles appear. These are the default roles generated by DNN. What we want to do is create a new role that is a role specific to our organization's needs. Click the blue button in the top right corner of the panel that says Create New Role. Give the role a name. In this case, we're calling the role Dynamite Members. For the purposes of this video, we want anyone who registers to the Training Portal website to be automatically assigned to this new role of Dynamite Members. Of course, that will not always be the case and you may want to vet those signing up to your website and assign roles manually. If you do want the role you are creating given automatically to anyone who registers, you will need to switch on Auto Assignment before you press Save. Now that our new role has been created, we need to add some content to the website that only people with that role will be able to see. To do that, first add the content in as normal. We've added some below the registration form on the home page. Here it is, albeit blurred out, as, well, you may not have registered to the site yet. To keep the content hidden from the public but available to Dynamite members, we'll need to go to the module settings. Then we need to choose the permissions tab. This may be open or you may need to select it. The Permissions tab shows which roles can do what, with the module you're working on. Quite often, by default, Inherit View Permissions from Page will be ticked. If that is the case, clear that checkbox before you proceed. We now have options for the default roles. We can choose which of them can view the module or, indeed, edit it. Our new role is not yet in the list. To make it appear, we need to click the Add button towards the top of the panel. Please note, if you created a number of new roles, you may need to select the right one from the drop-down. As we've made just one, it's ready to select. Add the new role. You can decide if the role should have permission to view the content only, or to edit it as well. DNN assumes you would like to give view permission only. Incidentally, the content does relate to this video and it's well worth registering to the site once this tutorial is over. OK, to recap the goal of this tutorial, we want to make it so that a certain section of content on the Training Portal website can be viewed only by people who have registered. To test whether it has worked, let's go to the website. First of all, without registering. That is, as an ordinary member of the public all we can see is the welcome message and the form. Now let's register. We need to choose a username, password and display name and we need to enter an email address. And now if we scroll down, the content is visible. Registering has unlocked it. And finally, if you'd like to test this for yourself, 
and find out what the hidden content is, please visit tutorials.dynamite.co.uk and fill in the form.